are doing great. Y'all are doing great. Really? Y'all did it. Thank you. You are you wonderful. You are beautiful. You are awesome. Y'all cannot be denied. So pack it up, half a mic, the big slick, the manufacturer, architect, bringing you the art of red. You used to hit my print, now you want a part of it. You coming through more hits that talk like parliament. Compare me to another's gonna lead to an argument. The beat we fry you with, straight from the army. The better army, we kill the tracks and harmony. No matter what this bro's going, fuses. You're acting, it's awesome. Yo, how y'all feeling? Make some noise for justice, y'all. Well, yeah, let's get into it. Um, first thing I want to acknowledge before I perform my poem is that uh, we are on stolen land right now, you know? Uh, the second thing I want to acknowledge is that um, I'm here because someone way back was a hostage, right? Uh, third thing I want to acknowledge um, is that I am no longer in the condition of my foremothers and my forefathers because someone was a revolutionary and made um, change, right? You feel me? Um, cool. So the poems that I write um, is commentary on society and human condition. So this first poem that I wrote um, is about history and classrooms and the things that can get lost in both of them. You feel me? Um, it goes like this. If you hear something you like, let me know. What does it mean to express oneself and be felt? Not like an exotic painting before it's co-selected as a muffled magic mumbling in the lost corridors of a museum somewhere murmuring like I was here. Before this silent light, this frame, and all of you that came to toast your most prized trophy. But before that, the uncomfortable bit. The culture shock of culture that surrounds it felt, feel me from fallen, unfiltered form. Fine, I'll explain it like, I have been buried, burned, and birthed into the surface of the earth. For that reason, I have a relationship with the sun. My biological father has been buried, burned, and bathed into the surface of bars. For that reason, I won't have a relationship with my son. Feel me like in my natural state. Before colonization was the process of progress, before feeling like James Baldwin saying progress is a white man's word, before white man's words became the monopoly on progress, feel me, felt like Harlem, before property controlled people, but when people controlled property, in a storefront church that sounded like a revolution in the wake of a Sunday morning, before revolution was accountable by Facebook feeds, and we fed ourselves books that taught us our grandmother's hands or something we should strive to become, not bleach, feel me, felt like unsurveillance textbooks, Beneath the political pipeline, felt like knowing consciousness, the ability to be and accountability is a geopolitic, and that politics is a tangible concept. Simplified conflicts controlled by a simplified Congress translated into a vocab that they disconnected to the masses and promoted by zip code. Felt like kinfolk, felt like knowing the definition of a church is a religious building, a building of public worship, and the definition of worship is treating something like a deity. Felt like knowing we gotta start deifying ourselves, say it ourselves. Felt like knowing much of Greece is a co copy Kemet. We've been doing this, feel me? Felt like fully, felt like famine forbidden fruit. We seem to be now we're forgetting fruit. They copied a pyramid and called it a crucifix. Felt like birth. Felt like the black Madonna, felt like the original woman, felt like God took the time to kiss your skin with lips of the sun and left his mark a bit longer than most folk. Felt like a beautiful goal, felt like sometimes when I walk into a classroom and I listen before I speak, I'll be wanting to express myself and be felt. However, if you don't feel me, then bring your best boats and we'll bring our best hands, for they have been dipped in gold. That shoreline over there is fading. I've been feeling a certain type of way about the way they washed away my waves and bathed their children in black and brown water and then waved for giving me back what was already mine. Freedom. Thank you. Woo! Woo! So it's very important that everybody here keeps their, their minds on the topic here. Because if we get sidetracked and we want to play the blame game and we want to go into what they want us to go into, which is basically a race war, which obviously the people within this crowd are very privy to that it's not a race war. You can see all the beautiful colors and beautiful faces of all the people in here. But if we buy into that or if we allow ourselves to buy into that, we become the problem. And we're not going to create a solution collectively, consciously, through those actions.